No. Guess no. who's defensive? Okay. So it's going crazy Star. over. Slow dance. Hey, <clears throat> hey everybody. Hi guys, Kyrie091 hanging out with you. Boy oh boy, are we gonna have big fun today? Playing some more old school RuneScape. So when we last left off, we had done everything we needed to do to set sail for Crandor Isle. We're on board the ship. Captain Ned's here. He's ready to sail us there. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go to Crandor. Let's see it happen, y'all. So there goes our little ship. Sailing all the way away from Port Sarum over to Crandor Isle, just north of Karamja. Sailing through the reefs. And... Oh, mighty fine ship. She handles like a dream. How long do we reach Crandor? Not long. According to the chart, we'll be able to see Crandor if it wasn't for those clouds on the horizon. Clouds surround the ship. Uh-oh. There's a storm coming, Captain. Soon we won't be able to see anything. The weather had been so good up till now. You see that? You see it? Yeah. See what? I saw something above us. Uh-oh. It's a dragon. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The dragon killed my friend. He killed the boy. Like the ship boy. What was his name? Jenkins or something? Oh, that is so sad. Uh, knocked unconscious and we awake on the beach. So we're on the beach. Our ship has crashed. And we are on a beach on Crandor. And I got attacked by a skeleton who I do not intend to fight. Because to heck with him. Uh, let's see if we can find our way into the middle of Crandor. Well, there's where we want to go, by the way. There's some cool, uh, good mining spots here in Crandor, too, it looks like. So I can just click up here at the top and just walk up. Look at, there's mithril you can mine. Man, this is great. There's good mineable stuff here in Crandor. I had no idea there were so many good mining spots here in Crandor. Well, let's keep on keeping on here. There's another mining spot down there with looks like coal or something. Oh my gosh. You see this? Lesser Demon chasing me. I'm going in this hole. No thank you, Lesser Demon. I do not want to fight you. Go, leave me alone. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this, you guys. There he is. Or she, I think that's actually a girl dragon. There's Elvarg. So, yeah, okay. I'm not going to go fight El- There's Elvarg, but I'm not fighting Elvarg just yet. I will. I'm going to go in there and kill Elvarg, but first I got to run this way real quick and do something down here. There's a door I can unlock that's going to make this a lot easier, and I'm going to open it right now. All right, so I got the door unlocked. So now if I need that door ever again, I can use it. But we didn't come here to unlock doors, did we, guys? No, we did not. <sighs> I'll be honest. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I am terrified right now of this fight I'm about to get myself into. Climb over wall. Hi, Elvarg. No! <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, so no damage. No damage. No damage. I need to eat. <laughs> no, I'm not hurting. I have not done a single point of damage to Elvar yet. Oh, I hit him for eight. Do it again. No damage. <laughs> uh, come on. Why am I not attacking? No damage. I keep missing. I'm getting hurt bad. Alright, I'm switching to the sword. Alright. Zero. Why is my prayer getting points going down? Why is my prayer points going down? I haven't used any prayers. Attack, I said! Attack! Five. 
finally I freaking did some damage. Five again. I'm in trouble. Attack. Attack. Attack, for the love of God, hit him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not doing a lot of damage here, guys. I need to heal up. Attack. Get him. Come on. Oh my gosh. Attack. Come on. Come on. Come on, yes. 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 This is gonna be, I'm gonna cut this real close, aren't I? I am cutting this real too close, oh my god. Come on, quit missing. Quit with the missing. That fire is gonna be bad business for me, dude. Running low on food, y'all. I got two more lobsters. Come on, I gotta, I gotta do it. I'm almost there, I'm so close. Five. Come on. No more missing. I'm in trouble. All right, it's almost time for me to retreat. Come on. I'm out of here. Ah, I need more food. I had to run. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't hang. See here here's the thing. Here's the thing about that fight. I opened the secret door, so now I can pretty easily get back there to resume that fight. Um it's not gonna be too hard for me to get back there. I can go to Karamja and I don't have to deal with sailing there because my ship, as you remember, got destroyed. I'm gonna need more lobsters, so I'm gonna go to Varrock to buy more lobsters. I'm gonna buy a bunch of lobsters, and then I'm just gonna go back and basically keep on keeping on. So I'll see you guys in Port Serum, uh, where we will resume the fight once I have more lobsters. Oh, and I need to fill up my prayer points. Where's the nearest prayer point place I can go? There's one right up there. Is there one on the way to from Port Serum, from Lumbridge? Yeah, I'll do it in Lumbridge. Yeah, I'll just fill it up in Lumbridge. All right, I'll see you guys over there. The church in Varrock. Gonna fill up my prayer points real quick. And prayer points are full. Let's head back to Port Serum. Um, and uh, normally, okay, let's say you didn't open up the secret door that I opened. You would have to go through and fix your ship again and go talk to Ned. Uh, and get him back on the ship and then you could leave for Crandor again and you'd have to watch the whole scene where your ship gets destroyed and all that. I don't have to do any of that nonsense because um, I opened the secret door which I can just use from now on. So there's a way you can set up quick prayers and basically the way that they work is um, with a click of a single button you can activate whatever certain prayers you want. I want to be able to turn on ultimate strength and improved reflexes uh, with the click of a single button right here, activate quick prayers. So I have that set up now. So when I actually get down there to fight Elvarg, all I gotta do is click this button, and boom, my quick prayers will be activated. So you remember these guys in the last episode, they would not take us to Crandor, but uh, they will take us to Karamja. So we'll ride on their ship to get from Port Serum over to Karamja. Um, and now we are in Karamja. Let's cross over the gangplank. We've been here once before, but it was just for that quest, um, the pirate's treasure quest. We had to smuggle some Karamjan rum uh, back to the mainland for the pirate, for that redbeard guy. Uh, so the other things we can do in Karamja is this is the only place in the free-to-play world where you can catch lobsters. They're out here on this dock right here. Only place in the world you can get lobsters is right up there. Um, but we 
are not here for to catch lobsters. We are here to kill a dragon. So let's walk over here to the volcano. And we can come into the dragon's lair through the back way. Um, which only is available to us because, as you remember, I braved those lesser demons and opened the door. I don't know if Elvarg's health fills up if you run away like I did. I honestly don't know. Uh, we will soon find out. But I hope it didn't fill up, but even if it did, I have more lobsters with me this time. So I think we'll be okay, but I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, and I hope, I hope I, I'm right about the door, by the way. I hope I can actually, actually go in there. Climb down rocks. So we're here inside the cave. Let's head up this way. There's gold down here you can mine, by the way. There's the rope that you use to get out of here. Not, it's not that little cave. It's that rope up there. So let's head up this way. Deadly red spiders want to fight me. They think they want to fight me. They're wrong. They don't want to fight me. Red spider eggs. Don't want to deal with that. So there's the secret spot in the wall. Let's open that up. And we should be able to pass through. And we will have to get past these lesser demons. And that's alright. So let's go. Leave me alone. I'm not here for you lesser demons. Leave me alone. I am here for Elvarg. Not you guys. Not you dummies. Leave me alone. Climb over wall. Where were we, Elvarg? Oh, that's right. I was about to kill you. Ah! Oh, his life, his life didn't fill up. Look at... Oh, I got you for sure this time. You don't have full life, and I have an inventory full of lobsters. See, every now and then, Elvarg stops doing the fire and starts doing regular melee attacks, and I love when that happens, because the melee attacks aren't that hard to deal with, like the fire is, but she doesn't do it often enough, so... All right, get back to it. Come on, Kyrie 091. Let's finish this dragon off and go home. This this should be doable at this point, man. Now that look at, I got her. Oh my God, she's hurting me bad though. Don't get cocky, Kyrie. That's how you're gonna end up dying right now, buddy. Pay attention to what you're doing. You're not done yet. Okay, now you're done. Ah, I got her. What am I taking? What, am I gonna take her head? Oh. Oh! Oh! That was gruesome! <laughs> Examine dragon corpse. Corpse of a mighty dragon. Woo! Alright, so we got the dragon dead. Now we need to go tell Oziak. Where's Oziak? Oziak is uh, near Barbarian Village. So, let us go tell Oziak. I think it'd be faster to go to, to uh, Varrock than to have to walk all the way from here. Alright, let's go. Let's get a fire rune. That'll get us to uh, wherever we're trying to get to. And in case we need them, let's get a couple of earth runes. I don't think we will, but we got them. Uh, let's go to Varrock. I can't believe that we cut Elvarg's head off. I mean, I know you needed proof, but like examine the severed head of the great dragon Elvarg how gruesome that was a tricky fight though I would like to have done it without running away that would have been pretty cool but I mean it just wasn't in the cards now the fact that her life doesn't fill up when you run away it actually makes it such that I really believe that anyone could do that fight as long as you can survive for a few minutes with her you could just leave Look at all the bronze armor out here right now. That's weird. Look at all these people with bronze armor. What is this? Do you see this? That's a lot of bronze. Wow. Why is everybody wearing bronze armor? Anyways. If you could survive for a few minutes with Elvarg attacking you, I think that's really all you'd need is just a, a few minutes, leave, come back, uh, and fight some more with, you know, go get more food and come back. I think you could do it. So, yeah. Up here is where Oziak lives. I think Oziak lives here in Edgeville, which is north of Barbarian Village. Look at a unicorn. How pretty. I killed a unicorn. Yeah? I killed one. You killed one? Uh -huh. Did it drop anything cool? Uh, no. I didn't. They didn't drop nothing to me. Oh, that's a shame. All right. So, this is Edgeville. Oziak should live somewhere up here. Okay, come on now. Come on now. Almost there. 
I don't know why I'm making you guys watch this boring ass walk all the way up here. But here we are. Yeah, it's right here. This is Oziac's house. Yeah, let's open the door and head inside and talk to Mr. Oziac and tell him what we did. Hey, pal. Guess what? Have you slayed the dragon? Yes, I have. I got your head to prove it. You actually did it? I underestimated you. I apologize. I'd be happy to sell your rune plate bodies. So, woo-wee! We got two quest points. Who cares? Uh, ability to equip rune plate bodies. Awesome. We got 18,000 strength experience and 18,000 defense experience, which of course means... Thank you. You're welcome. Strength is now 41. Defense is now 44. <laughs> Look at that. My strength was 35. My defense was 40. I just gained a lot of levels from that. So if we trade with Oziac, you can see, yes, he will sell us the uh, rune plate body. And he'll sell us the um, green dragon hide. Which, the green dragon hide, I, I really don't... Like, um, I can't wear it till I have level 40 range, so I'm not really exactly close to being able to wear the green dragon hide. The coolest thing is I'm one level away from 400. Once I get to level, I'm sorry, 500. Once I get to level 500 total level, I can log into the 500 world, which is going to be cool. Uh, so, let's equip the stuff we've been waiting to equip. Let's go to the bank and deposit everything. And we got all this rune gear that I got a long time ago that someone just gave me for no reason. And it is finally time, at long last, to see what my guy looks like with his full rune armor on that he can now wear. What do you guys think? Pretty good, huh? Not too shabby with the gold trim and all that. Not too bad. Let's put away the anti-dragon shield. I don't think I'll need it anytime soon. I got all this adamantite stuff I can sell. Don't need it for anything. Um, and honestly, guys, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this series now. We've done it. We've done every single quest in the free-to-play quest library. I guess I could make this character a member and maybe do Dragon Slayer 2. Huh? 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 No? I don't know. Um, I... I could, I could make this character into a member and do some member stuff. Uh, I could just keep scaling a little bit. I really don't care that much about about any, you know, like, I'm not that worried about, like, leveling up ranged or anything else. So, by the way, I forgot to turn on my quick, my quick prayers I was doing. So, I really don't know um, how much more RuneScape I'm going to do. If I decide to play more, I will. If not, you guys have gotten to see every single free-to-play quest there is. So, whether I do record more RuneScape or not, uh, thank you so much for watching. Kyrie 91 wishing you a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this series. I know I certainly have. Stick around for more big fun and maybe even more RuneScape. Bye, everyone. Hey, everybody. Kyrie 91 here. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content from me, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie 91 channel for more big fun.